Well, so here, here he is last night on Fox. Here's Bernie Sanders last night on Fox. Uh, ironically, or, or I would say almost unironically now, he gets a much fairer hearing on Fox News than he does on MSNBC. So here he is. He's being asked about, he's being asked about what, what's going to happen with Joe Biden and his, uh, his uh, dementia. And here's what he says. Anna. Hi, Senator Sanders. Some of Joe Biden's answers don't make sense. Do you think it's acceptable for a presidential candidate to respond to questions like Joe Biden does? Oh. Now, what would happen if Bernie said, I think it's a I think it's a shame what's happening. Joe Biden is obviously diminished. And I I think it's uh, elder abuse what they're doing to him because I'm even older than him. And I would hate if I was like that for people to be parading me around. I don't know. Say something. Take a lead. Uh, again, you're losing. <laughs> I don't know if you know this. Who has more delegates right? How much how many more delegates? Oh, well, let me look right now. He's at 766. Who is? Biden has 766 to Bernie Sanders 618. Well, let me just let me just say this. Um, you know, Joe Biden is a friend of mine. I've known him for a Stop it. Stop it. He's not your friend. Stop it. many, many years. When we do our events and our rally, rallies, we try to give, we respect people in a sense, and we give really substantive, these guys will think maybe too long-winded answers, but we take people, there are real crises facing this country. When I give a speech, often it's 45 minutes or an hour, okay? Because there are a lot of challenges that the country faces, and I gotta talk about them. You know, I think Joe was somewhere in, uh, where was he, I don't know, Michigan or, or someplace else the other day. And he spoke for seven minutes. I don't know how you say anything other than, you know, minimal discussion in seven minutes. So all that I have always believed is that if we believe in democracy, a candidate has got to be honest with the people about what he or she believes, given the many, many challenges facing our country. And when you do that, when you're honest and you look at the hard issues, so you're going to take on the fossil fuel industry or Wall Street, or the drug companies, it brings forth opposition. I know that, I get beaten up every day. That's fine, that's what I do. But all I would say is, I'm not gonna to criticize Joe, but to say that I think- Why? Why aren't you there to criticize Joe? You know, that's what you do in a campaign, right? And in this instance, if he doesn't want to criticize Joe, it's like you said, though, he could do this very heartfelt, compassionate Yeah, like thing. I feel for him. I feel for him. And, and if I, someone but, should tell him no. Like someone should tell him this, they should, this isn't right. What's it? They're not letting, and, and it would be this compassionate, hey, Joe, you got to step down. It's time. Yeah, you should say he gave a speech the other day for seven minutes. All he could do is say hi and bye. And that's not right. And I would and, it's, and, and I, you, anybody can see this. I'm not pointing this out. The people are pointing it. Everybody knows this. That what is it? How does it hurt you to say that? And I would also would lead with, and that's why we need elder care. And that's in our why country. we, yeah. Another elder reason care. why. Oh, yep. Here we go. Here's and there, it's, so then Fox News. Watch the American this. people in this incredibly complicated and difficult moment in our history are entitled to thoughtful answers to the crises we face. Senator, this isn't uh, a personal attack, but it, it gets to Nina's question. And the question of Joe Biden's mental acuity is not something that just comes up anywhere. Democrats have brought this up, including Senator Cory Booker, who endorsed Joe Biden today. Take a listen. You just said that two minutes ago. Are you forgetting what you said two minutes ago? Are you forgetting already what you said just two minutes ago? I think Trump that Castro it. has some really uh, uh, legitimate concerns about can he be someone in a long, grueling campaign uh, that can get the ball over the line? And he has every right to call that out. There are definitely moments where you listen to Joe Biden and you just wonder. Are we afraid to say that a lot of his sentences don't make sense, that he's having trouble completing thoughts? Senator, your thoughts? Uh, I'm not going to go... Why not say, well, obviously, it's not everyone has concerns. It's not me. It's got Cory Booker. It's uh, Julian Castro. It's uh, it's the people on news panels. It's people in the audience. You, you, you know, you want me to say something like that? I'll let it for. But it's not right what's happening with Joe. And that's what that's it's, it's not right. I, don't, I mean, that's the softest way you could say it. I don't know why you need to say it soft. You say we can't afford to do this. 
Do you see what they're doing? They're running a guy who everyone knows is suffering and cannot fulfill the mission of beating Trump. Everyone knows this. And he doesn't say it. Here's what he does say. Level in attacking. Joe and I have, you know, that's for people to decide. All I can say is Joe and I have very significant political differences. And I'm not going to be making, you know, personal attacks on Joe. That's not, not what I do. Attack. It's not a personal attack. You're trying to defend this country. If you really think Donald Trump is the most corrupt president in the world and an existential threat, wouldn't you do everything to make sure you could defeat him in November? And you know we're not going to do it with a guy who's suffering from dementia. Why is it a, a sin that you can say that? God damn it. Oh, God damn it. You know, if he loses... You know, I'm he's so, got no one else to fucking play. Man. I'm so glad we're able to have manners as this no whole shit. system is being the fucking stolen people from dying, us. living under bridges. Fucking we're setting the whole Middle East on fire still. And you're still fucking being polite to Joe Biden, a guy who wants to do more of that. It's like and there's so many ways to I can answer this question. I could say, no, no, ways. it's not a personal attack. It's a fair question about the health. Yeah. After my heart attack, everybody asked that right. question. It's a reasonable question to ask. I've answered it. I've had the stint. I've lived for people. Right. There's plenty of evidence. These happen That's all the time. That's another way to answer it. It's a great way it's to answer it. It's a great way it. to answer it. But I am I have some questions. And I'm just saying because I'm running against him. Obviously, you pointed out other people who are running it. And it's like it, he's my friend. If I wasn't running, I would have this concern. Like, yeah. I, I, it, it, I mean, Joe Biden is to the point where you take a guy's keys away. Yes, we had to do that to my father. My father's, his mental acuity, my father's a PhD, spoke three languages. Mm -hmm. He was one of the most am amazingly smart guys I've ever met. And he started losing his mental acuity. We And he got in a couple little fender benders. And I was like, no, this is not safe for the people in Chicago where he lives. I go, it's not. I go, Dad, you're going to end up. I don't want you to spend the last years of your life in jail. And how would you would you want to live with yourself if you really hurt somebody? Oh, right. I'm fine. No. And I had conversation with my brother and sisters. I said, we. Got, it's not safe for the public. It's not right. safe. And he would drink and go drive and he wouldn't remember. And I was like, this is bad for everybody it's not good. Now imagine if instead of my dad's Prius, it's the United States of America. America. You should have the same concern. I hope if I ever get to that place, I don't have kids of my own. I hope my nieces and nephews go, hey, Uncle Graham, it's time, buddy. You can't drive anymore. Hey everybody, the next live Jimmy Dore show is May 1st in Minneapolis, and then we're going to Chicago. Go to jimmydorecomedy.com for a link for all the tickets to all our live shows, and become a premium member at jimmydorecomedy.com slash join. We give you hours of bonus material every week. Thanks for your support.